Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting exponential equation today, x square equal to 3 to the x. And on the first side this equation is easy one because we have like x square on the right, on the left, a 3 to the x on the right, no huge numbers, like 2, 3, so we can easily solve it. And that's how it is. This is not like a hard question, but we need to know a really interesting tricks, a really interesting theorems right here, and I'm going to show you right now. So first of all, if we have two, if we have x as a power, as exponent right here, so it's really good to apply natural log on both sides. So let's do this. We will have like natural log of x square equal to natural log of three to the x. Yeah, so we apply natural log on both sides. I hope you understand this step and I hope you understand why I do this because two goes right here, this is the main log property, main log, log rules on the both side and we will have like two natural log but one really interesting moment, a lot of students forget about this and they go with only our x but if we have square right here we need to put absolute value. So it's not hard but it's really important, yeah? Put absolute value equal to x times natural log three. So we have this one. Okay, I hope you understand this. And right now, let's divide both sides by x, because I wanted to group constant on the on the right hand side and variables on the left hand side. So let's divide both sides by x. If we divide both sides by x, we will have like two natural log absolute value of x and all over right here by x. We divide it, and from here we'll have only natural log three. Yeah, natural log three. And right now let's do the same step but with the constant. So right here we have a constant, we don't need it right here. And let's divide both sides by these two. If we divide by two, we will have like natural log absolute value of x over x equal to natural log three over two. And that's really great. Constant on the right, variables on the left hand side. And this is really great. And right now we need to know a really interesting, maybe really important function right here, because if you know a little bit about Lambert W function, so Lambert W function equal to W times E to the power W. Yeah, this is Lambert W function. And if we apply this function, for example, from this expression X times E to the power X, this is equal to X. Yeah, so this is Lambert W function. And I want to mention that this is really important function in our case. We need to know about this function and we need to apply this function right here. So let's try to think a little bit about this expression because we're going to apply this function to this expression. With this absolute value we will have like two cases because first one is positive, second one is negative. Yeah. So let's go with the first case x is positive one because f, if x is positive one we will have like the next one. We will have natural log absolute value of x not absolute value without absolute value, or oh, I write once more, yeah, absolute value of x over x equal to natural log three over two. And right now we reject this absolute value because x is positive. So natural log x over x equal to natural log three over two. And let's try to create a Lambert W function right here. Let's try to apply this Lambert W function in this case. Okay, let's bring this x from our denominator to our numerator, yeah? Uh, because x is to the first power right here, if we bring it to the our numerator, we will have like x to the power minus one, yeah, x to the power minus one times natural log x equal to natural log three times one half, yeah, so let's write it as one half times natural log three, okay? And so we have a really interesting trick right here, because one half we can easily bring to our natural log, because this is like in a reverse way right here. We bring it down to natural log as expression that we multiply it, and right here we bring it to our as a power, yeah? And one half, this is square root. So we can easily write it as, so I write it in this way, x to the power minus one times natural log x. So on the left hand side we have the same, and equal to natural log square root of three, yeah? I hope you understand this step. This is this the same expression as right here. Okay, let's go next. Let's go to the left hand side because we simplify a little bit our right hand side. And let's try to write this natural log. Let's write this natural log right here. So natural log x. And let's write this x to the power minus one and really important step right now. Let's write this x to the power minus one as e to the power natural log x to the power minus one. If we cancel this e and natural log, we'll have the same value. We'll have the same x to the power minus one. But this is really important step right now, yeah? Equal to natural log square root of three. Okay, let's go next. 
Let's bring this minus right here because we can do this. So minus one, we can write right here. So we will have like natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to natural log square root of three, yeah? And there's a really important moment because it looks like our lambda w function expression is ready right now because we have like e, we have e right here, we have x, but this is not x. This is minus x with the minus sign, but this is our x. So if we want to create the same expression, we need to multiply it by minus one, yeah? And then we will have minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log square root of three. Yeah, so we have this, this expression. And right now let's apply Lambert W function. So right now we can easily apply Lambert W function. We will have like Lambert W function of this expression, minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x. This is our left hand side equal to Lambert W function of minus natural log square root of three. Yeah, so we have this one. And this is our re ready expression to Lambert W function because we have the same, this expression and this one. And this is E, we, we need it right here. So if we apply Lambert W function, we will have minus natural log X. This is our left hand side equal to Lambert W function in this point. So this is a constant. A lot of internet libraries know about this exact value of this question. So let's try to find our X. So it doesn't matter. Don't think about this expression. Maybe this is a little bit complicated for you. Okay. Let's multiply it by minus one. We don't need it, this minus right here. So natural log x equal to minus Lambert W function in this point, minus natural log three, yeah? And right now let's take E on both sides because this is natural log. If you write E right here and E right here, we will have that our x equal to E to the power minus Lambert W function in this point minus natural log square root of three, yeah? And if we bring this minus from our numerator to our denominator, we'll have that our x equal to one over e to the power Lambert W function in this point minus natural log square root of three. Yeah, so this is our, this is our x. And I want to mention one really interesting moment because this expression give us Lambert W function in the point of minus 0 0.548, but this point, in this point, Lambert W function does not exist. So when x is greater than zero, we will have no solution. So no solution right here, no solution. And where hides our solution right here? Because we go with x is positive and we will have no solution. So we need to work with the second step. X is negative one. And let's try to, let's try to solve it with, with negative one. But I don't want you to waste your time a, a little bit because right here it will be absolutely the same. So a lot of things are absolutely the same. But if we are going with x is negative one, we will have that our x equal to minus one over e to the power Lambert W function of natural log square root of three. Yeah natural log square root of three. So if you want to practice your Lambert W function, you can easily solve with negative one. You will have like the next, you will have like x to the power minus one times natural log, but not x, but minus x right here, equal to one half natural log three. Yeah, so we have something like that. And I don't want you to waste your time. I go with final answer because right here we have this minus with this negative, we will cancel this minus right here. And I, I write this question in a math library and this Lambert W function give us the final answer because our x equal to from here, our x approximately equal to minus 0 0.686. Right here we find our root, x equal to 0 0.686. And let's draw a real quick graph right here. Let's try to find this root because if we draw a graph right here real quick, we will have like exponential function right here and we'll have our, our parabola, yeah, something like that. And right here we will have our point of intersection. This is our one point of intersection, minus 0 0.686, but in our case, this function, I don't know exactly how this looks like, but this, this line goes not to intersect this point, but this line goes right here under this. And this line does not intersect this one and this one. 
So this is one and only root, because if we have intersection right here, then when x is positive, we will have root, but if x is positive, we will have no solution. So these lines does not intersect. intersect. Right here we cancel this line. This goes under this, and right here we will have only one root. So I write this answer. Answer, so x approximately equal to minus 0 0.686. Six. This is one and only solution to this problem. Maybe right here we will find like complex root. This is really interesting. So if you're interested in complex roots, you can easily find this part when x is positive one. Okay, so this is my solution. If you still have any question, write a question in comment. Write a suggestion in comment. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.